Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about the silver metal effect psychologically while also doing this fun battle against Fantoon. So, I hope you guys are a fan of the silver metal effect, uh, knowing about it, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so I want to talk a little bit about it. So, the silver metal effect, many of you guys may not know about this effect or how it works or anything like that. Well, I'll, uh, I'll talk you through it. So, the silver metal effect is basically this effect you have with silver medalists people who will win, you know, a silver medal in, you know, the Olympics, for example. Also, by the way, super missile bets are pretty high at this point, because we should be getting a higher rate of super missile drops from here on out. Um, yes. So, anyway, silver medal effect. Let me get into the nitty-gritty on that one. So, basically, people with a bronze medal often feel happier than people with a silver medal. And people thought, why does that happen? Because, you know, the silver medalist is a higher place. You know, they got second place versus your bronze person. They got third place. So, you know, why would the third place guy be happier than the second place guy? And the answer is simply because the first the first place guy feels the best. You know, gold feels the best. But second place silver medal there is comparing themselves to the gold. And they think, oh, I didn't win the gold, you know, etc. I have a problem, this is an issue, you know, whatever. But actually, you know, the bronze medal person tends to be comparing themselves to the, to, you know, the people who didn't win a medal. So they feel good, like, hey, I won, you know, because they, I got to, you know, be on the podium, etc., you know. And because they did, like, that's a, that's a good way to look at it. But the silver medal peoples don't often think that way. They think, oh, you know, I should have gotten gold, I didn't get gold. So they're constantly unhappy because of that comparison. Anyway, I think it's some pretty interesting psychology. Also, look again, another super missile drop. I'm not saying that every drop from now on will be super missiles. I'm just saying that it's most likely because, you know, you're more likely to find super missiles at that point because 50-50 drop rate and the fact is we found a lot more missiles. So that means that likely the other places have more super missiles. Anyway, probability's fun stuff. A lot of people don't understand this about the casino model because people think about luck like it continues. They think, oh, since I've been having good luck, I'll continue to. Actually, you probably won't. If I've been having bad luck, I'll continue to have bad luck. Well, actually, no. You know, the way it works, the way the casinos make money, and like $75 million a year off of a four-point, you know, edge is simply because they have this ability to win more than they lose, okay? And that's as much, that's as hard as it, as it really is. See, a casino has games that are rigged so that they win more than they lose. Just like carnivals rig their games, except not as bad. Or those stupid, like, claw things at the arcades. Like, what the kind of hell are those kind of things where they're ripping off kids? Like, that seems like a really just mean thing to do. Don't rip off kids, you know? Also looks like we're getting a slow pattern with Phantom. Oh, maybe medium pattern? Okay. Now that we got him into this stage, we need to uh, we need to shoot his eye. So obviously that's his weak point. I think we all know that. Um, but we gotta wait for him to appear. Come on, Phantom. So you can shoot him up to two times, about three different times in a row. I must have shot him with three missiles on that last one. Okay, we're getting fast pattern. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on, Phantom. Don't be a jerk here. Come on. Where's he at? One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, anyway, Dopplers can be done way more efficiently than the way I'm doing them. Um, I, this is just the best strategy I know. You hit him with two missiles, you can do this up to three different groups of times, and he'll stick around without disappearing. You can also enrage him, and that would work on this seed because we have screw attack. And you have screw attack for pseudo screw with the charge beam you can really get away with enraging him, which I think we may do in a minute here, because I'm getting sick of the Dopplers. Yeah, okay, I missed him. You know what, we're just going to enrage him. Uh, I just don't care. Might take a few, might take three rounds with enraging him, but I just don't care at this point. I don't like Fanta. I, I just don't like him. Also, the fact is that they put a Save the Animals at the end of this game. It's no longer Save the Animals, it's a second Fanta battle. I think that's pretty funny. Okay, so Fantoon's enraged, which means he's going to just shoot these for a few minutes, uh, or for a few seconds. But that'll give me more time to talk about uh, this effects with the silver metal and 
people's comparisons, and also the casino model, because I thought that was a fun conversation. So a lot of people don't understand how casinos work. That's why they gamble at them. Because if you understood how casinos worked, you would not, you know, be gambling at the casino, you would be investing in the casino. There are lots of good casino companies to invest in, by the way, so I'd recommend you do that. I have plenty of them in my stock portfolio. Always buy low, sell high. Anyway. But here's what I would say about casinos. They're nice business because people just walk in and they just, like, hand over their money. They're like, here's my money, just take it, you know? And people think they're going to win big at the casino. They think, oh, I can win the casino, the casino, you know, such a good, whatever, like, I, you know, things will all just work out in my favor. But they won't, because casinos see a rig so that the casino wins, you know? They have the odds in their favor. May the odds be ever in your favor. Hunger Games there now. But, um, yeah, so basically the odds are in the casino's favor. That's why they stay in business. If they were constantly losing money, they wouldn't. But people think, oh, I'm special, I'm unique, I can win this, you know, whatever. And, well, you know, it's nice to think so, but probably not. Um, you always have to do the math, okay? Always look at the numbers. The numbers tell the story every time in the finance world, you know, in particular. Numbers tell the story just basically in any science. Always look at the numbers, don't just listen to what people say, basically. But okay, back, enough of my, you know, ramblings of psychology and business stuff. Hopefully you guys appreciate those, because you're going to be getting a lot more of that kind of stuff. I love psychology and I love business. That's uh, two of my favorite things. Probably why I was a psych major and everything. Well, I guess still am, technically. About to graduate, but, you know, psychology, so fun. So yeah, silver medalists really are interesting because of that, this comparison. They also live less time because of this, um, is a thought. So I think that that's pretty funny. Like, I mean, seriously, this is going to mess up your life so badly that you're going to, like, you know, live less time. It just, I'm surprised to see that. But, you know, numbers don't lie, as I said. Okay, push this guy off the end so it'll be less annoying. We can, uh, I'm always used to having spring ball for some reason now. Um... The stamp. Okay, this is a my this is a major item. It was actually swapped with the one in uh, Norfair because this makes it, you know, like a this makes it more balanced. Okay, because otherwise wreck ship would be just trash compared to Norfair, so everybody would want to do hell runs all the time. So the logic basically is to swap, you know, a randomization for this area. Yeah, basically, hopefully you get what I'm saying. You know. <laughs> So, that's just the randomizer logic to make Rex Shep worth going to for looking for some of the major items. Because everybody, you know, you need certain items to beat the game, and so it's really essential you find those. And it's just, you know, it makes Rex Shep more valuable. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this part. Hopefully you enjoyed my conversation, the quick one about the silver medalist and all that kind of stuff. We'll talk some more psychology next time, I'm sure. So I'll see you guys next time with the next video. Stay tuned. I'll see you then.